For this uh, balloon test, I will use an Oclusef uh, from Turimo. Uh, this is a micro catheter, uh, and I will use a OO14 um, guide wire uh, from Turimo, which is a GT0014. We have now to prepare uh, the micro balloon catheter uh, for the procedure. The first step is to insert the stylate in the micro at the distal tip. Second step is to use the freeway stopcock to the balloon lumen. Then you have to use a 20 cc syringe to extract the air from the dead space of the catheter. Then you can inflate very slowly the balloon to 0.2 milliliter of this contrast and saline solution. And you can see that the balloons start to gently inflate. And I think we are now in a good location for delivering treatment. From the flight plan for liver, it looks like I have to retrieve a little bit my balloon, here we are, just below these uh, bifurcations, and then I will be able to reach uh, the main tumor feeder. I'm now ready uh, to treat, and I will uh, prepare my emulsions, and I will then inflate the balloon. I will now inflate the balloon with uh, 0.1 milliliter. or maybe even less, because that's a very tiny artery. And we can see the drop by 10 uh, millimeter of mercury after uh, inflation. It's very important that the doxorubicin is diluted in a very small volumes. And as you can see, the all 50 mg of doxorubicin are within uh, 5 mL of saline. That will uh, favor uh, water in oil emulsions, which have some uh, benefit versus oil in water emulsion. So the next important step is when you prepare the emulsion to push the doxorubicin towards lipidol. And you have to do like 20 push and pulls of the syringe to get a droplet from the internal phase, which will be in the range of uh, 70 microns to 150 microns. Mm -hmm.